it's a side flag unless you just fly quicker, but you learn it slow. And let's speed it up, and you'll get that flat sound, but you learn it that way. <laughs> Hey Mark, how are you doing? I'm good, mate. Yep. So, what have you just been doing in London then? Well, um, I, I, I came uh, across here uh, to do a show uh, at Royal Festival Hall with um, uh, Mirandak, uh, the Black Arm Band. Uh huh. Um, um, and I think we had a, a, a really good show. We, had, we got some good raves anyway. And it was excellent. I mean, I, 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 it was awesome. You were there. Yeah, I was there. <laughs> It, I would call it captivating and deep, deeply soulful. Yeah, I mean, it was it was just a story of uh, of our um, our people, our, our, our struggle, our, our you know our hardships, and you know um, our, our our hope uh, for the future. Yeah. Uh, we came together to um, just to celebrate that, I suppose, um, which we've done, and now we've been invited back to do the WOMAD here in London and uh, or UK and um, a few other shows so it's it's, it's been awesome. good uh, so Mark you played did you do all over the world how, how did you start and when did you start what's the what's the story behind that well I started I mean I, I don't know did you do of course you know when I was younger and that but never really never really took any um, notice um, you know I mean I was a young fella I suppose and, and growing up more so than because my mother she had to, um, um, uh, my mother's a Yamaji woman and she had to move from her country because she married my father Then she had to become a, um, who was a white man, and had to become a, a, a Catholic before, um, you know, they, they got married and that, and yeah. then move away from her community. Um, mm -hmm. So um, I, I didn't like see a lot of my people and that, it was only more. Um, the old uncle or, or grandfather and that would, would come down even then they weren't, weren't allowed to, to really see us because we weren't allowed to mix with the traditional people because um, you know we was, they were there to um, uh, uh, assimilate us so to speak yeah so but it wasn't until I uh, I was in my early 20s uh, 21, 22 that I'd um, I'd gone mm -hmm. up to um, to one of my um uh, auntie's funerals and um, one of my uncles was playing and he came past me and he was dancing and singing and playing did you do and he, says, he came past me turned around and looked at me and he just said y you play this boy <laughs> I said I don't know how, how uncle. And he said, I'm dancing and singing just blow so and by the time he finished I got a nade out of it anyway and it was then with the whole thing I suppose mm. the the singing and the crying and, and you know uh, you know I um I felt something, and, and um, yeah, so I, I uh, sort of took it up. It was a slow sort of process, I suppose. It wasn't wasn't uh, till a few years later that uh, I decided that was really what I wanted to do, and it was sort of going back to um, um, you know uh, the stories, the land, and, and the mother's people, um, and connecting me a little bit, grounding me, I suppose. And at that time, that stage. Oh, you know, I've been playing in rock and roll bands since I was 14. And so what's your funniest moment, funniest didgeridoo moment, Mark? The funniest... Well, I suppose when I was in Austria, I was doing this show, and I walked out there, there was like 10, 15,000 people, I suppose. And I walked out there and, like a, like a dude, just wandered out there and pulled my didge out of my bag. And, well, that was when I got stuck. So there was stage manager sitting there and I got, Mark, you got five minute call, you know, like, and then, then the, sort of, I'm having a fag and they're trying to push me out of stage and I've got to grab my dig. So sort of grab it and I had a minute or two left and warm it up and walk out there. But it got stuck in the road case. So, there's about four or five people who were pulling and banging on this bloody thing. We get it out anyway, then I walk out the stage and I go to blow it and nothing happened. So I go to blow it again and nothing happened. 
And if I pulled it up to the light, you know, up on the, on the stage, because you couldn't see anybody out there because the bloody lights. And look, I couldn't see. I thought it was something. Anyway, I went up to where the, the, the drummer was, and um, um, I, got, I got his sticks, one down there, made another one down there, another, bang, bang, and out, and out, and out popped this little fluffy bunny. <laughs> But it was a toy little fluffy bunny, and it was one of my bloody uh, young kids. And, yeah. you know, cause they, were, they were doing that every now and then, I find things, just stuff something in it, like yeah. in my bag. And, yeah, yeah. So people always used to say to me, um, you know, and once I had a mouse ran out of one, they were scared shit out of me. <laughs> and uh, they always said to me, uh, Mark, what are you always looking at? <laughs> 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 That's why. Uh, yeah. All right, Mark. Well, thank you so much for coming over here and, and for sharing some of your stories. Look forward to speaking to you again soon, um, whenever you're coming over here next. For WOMAD, you say? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's awesome. It's not sooner or later, but it'll be WOMAD anyway. But, okay. um, no, thanks for having me, Colin. I really you're appreciate welcome. that. And, uh, yeah, I'll be back. All right, mate. Look forward to it. No worries. Cheers. Yeah.